Who knew robots could have such character? Today we're talking about my Tech Priest Engine Series on Conversion Core. Conversion Corner! So these guys came about when I was trying to create some cheap HQ choices for my Admech army. Uh, Tech Priest Dominuses are awesome models and I can't wait to convert up a new one. Just got a set of tracks from the Cataphron Destroyer Breacher set. Um, thank you, Brett, for giving me those because I'm going to convert up a new Dominus that's half tracked and I'm really excited about it. But that being said, you need some cheap HQ choices if you want to include an additional battalion or something in your Admech army, and these guys are where it's at because they're cheap. Um, so I'm not a big fan of all of, my, uh, all of my characters looking the same. I like each one of them to have some individuality and some character. Um, and Admech kind of gives you the ability to, uh, to really run with that. I will say that being an Admech collector, uh, as you amass your army, you're going to have tons of extra bits. Um, most of the Admech kits are dual purpose, so an example would be the infiltrators being able to be assembled as rust stalkers or vice versa. The vast majority of them are going to be dual purpose with the exception of maybe the dune crawlers. Uh, there's only a few kits that you can't really assemble two different variants with the one set. So your bits box is going to thank you and it's going to grow and that being said, really cool bits for conversions. Uh, you end up with a lot of unique uh, heads and little servo arms and um, robot arms and different kind of um, just just bits that create flavor and give your characters that much more character. Um, so that pretty much sums up where we got all these bits from. They're all from the bits box and uh, these two kit bashes are essentially uh, repurposed other models in the Admech line. So let's get into these conversions and we'll talk about where all the parts are from. So we're going to start with the first of the Tech Priests, uh, Tech Priest Engine Sears. The first one was created using the Admech Datasmith, so the torso was from the Admech Datasmith and the, uh, the right arm was from him. The left arm is actually the, uh, the arm wielding the axe. Uh, the axe is from a Tech Priest Dominus. I, I had one extra that I chopped up. Um, when I took the arm off of him, I was regretful of it at first, but uh, going back, I'm going to create a unique uh, axe or weapon for him to be wielding when I create my tracked one that I mentioned earlier in the video. But um, that being said, I think the arm looks really, really cool. I was really happy with how it turned out. Um, I cut down on the axe a little bit to make it a little bit more simplified and um, a little bit more sleek and also just not so, not so big for such a small model or a smaller model. The Tech Priest Dominus is a large model. Um, so I didn't want the scale to look too, too off. Um, and the Datasmith's torso and legs are a little bit more uh, standard human-esque kind of scale. So um, yeah, I just really wanted to, to kind of make everything fit properly. So the last pistol is actually from an old uh, Necromunda model, an old plastic Necromunda model. Um, so that's where the LAS pistol came from. Tech Priest Engine Sears have to have a LAS pistol and, a, um, and an axe. I mean, you could model any pistol on him. You could give him just a holster or something on his hip and that would be enough. But uh, I wanted him to actually be wielding one. Um, just for that one strength three shot, that, that uh, flashlight shot that uh, might take a wound off of an uh, unsuspecting character or a custody or something awesome. Uh, to bring some glory to the Omnissiah. So uh, next we have uh, just some bits that I use to uh, kind of emphasize the servo harness on him. So um, the, the, the kind of uh, arm sprouting out above him uh, from the back of the model, that was, that, that was standard. The backpack is actually part of the cybernetic data smith, uh, cybernetica data smith. But uh, the little arm piece or the little head piece on it that looks like kind of like a welding torch or something, claw. Um, yeah, I basically I used that from the Cataphron Breacher slash Destroyer set. And then also the little arm that's coming out from the front of his servo harness is, uh, is also from the Cataphron Breacher Destroyer set. It's one of the little arms that comes off of the, uh, the heavy weapons. So yeah, and that was pretty much it. It was just a quick little uh, kit bash, the head came from a uh, uh, infiltrator, uh, 
basically I took the head off of the alpha, I chopped it down a little bit, I gave him an accordion neck out of green stuff just to kind of have it floating a little bit higher than the uh, than the ridge line of his um, of his harness and his armor, and I just wanted it to be kind of floating above because the armor kind of has a cool little uh, like buttresses. It's got like um, kind of like a cog kind of cog tooth thing going on, and I thought it would be cool to have that that head kind of slightly above it but also like making him look really heavy armor heavily armored and uh, yeah I'm just really happy with how the model turned out for the second tech priest engines here so this guy aka mr. jazz hands um, I named this guy uh, thanks to a plethora of basically of gifts that were uh, posted when I posted this guy up on one of the Facebook groups, um, the AdMech Facebook group, posted it up and people uh, immediately started loving the jazz hands. I think this guy got a lot of love for that and uh, it's probably one of my, uh, my favorite posings for a model. I love the fact that he's kind of like, the idea behind it originally was that he was kind of chanting, you know, Basically, he's he's praying to the uh, the Omnisaya to to bring a vehicle back to life. Um, I mean, you know, you've got the uh, the Canticles, so um, he he he's preaching the Canticles and the word of the Omnisaya, and uh, he's running around and doing it with his awesome jazz hands. So um, yeah, this guy probably one of my favorite characters I've ever created. Um, it started off with the torso and the legs. Uh, from the Alpha for the Infiltrators and the uh, Rust Stalkers. So that's where the cloak came from. It's, it, it comes part of the model. The head is actually from a Tech Priest manipul Manipulus. Um, they're, they give you two in the set, so you have a choice between two. And uh, the second head, both of them are great. This one's a little, uh, I think it, it fit well with the cloak. It made it look like he was wearing, you know, he's got this like kind of hooded, cowl kind of thing going on and just really big fan of it. The hand um, is also like I said from the Tech Priest Manipulus, uh, the jazz hand and uh, I used a the forearm from the forearm and a bit of the upper arm from um, an infiltrator uh, sprue and just kind of gave him that mechanical arm uh, so it looks like the whole thing is basically servo uh, mechanics so also, uh, with his legs being mechanical, I love the uh, look of the infiltrator legs. I love the Rust Stalker infiltrator models. They're just beautiful. So just created a quick little um, uh, dynamic with him when he was standing and just kind of used the um, rocks at his base to give him a little bit of a positioning. So the chest piece is armor plating from the Catafron Destroyer set. Um, just wanted to give him a little bit more armor, make him look a little bit more beefy. Um, and then the servo uh, harness on the back of him, uh, all of the pieces, all of the arms that are coming off are just random bits from Skatari Rangers, uh, from the Infiltrator sets. I mean, the little, uh, little screen kicking around on his back, that's from the Infiltrator set. And so is the uh, servo skull coming out the back. The pistol is from, I think, from the Dune Striders. Um, and yeah, the back engine kind of on the back is just from uh, Tech Priest Dominus. It's the last little piece that you plug into the back backpack of the uh, Tech Priest Dominus. So, so the axe was from the uh, Forge World uh, Dominus Majos Megos character. Uh, basically, I took the axe from him. He was uh, I purchased him on eBay, and there were some p pieces missing. From the set so uh, I just kind of took apart the, the the kit and used parts throughout my ad mech army and uh, I still had the axe left over so the arm was fashioned using uh, an infiltrator arm it's supposed to be a taser goad that he's holding on to um, I used some taser goad parts uh, to create the haft of the axe so the whole haft is created just using several different uh, infiltrator taser goads because I that said I intended to use as rust stalkers um, and yeah, and then the, the head of the axe is just like I said from the uh, the the Forge World model. So 
Uh, I'm really happy with how he turned out. I mean, um, he, he's definitely serving the on Messiah, and he's he's just one of my favorite characters, like I said. So uh, really happy with having two of these guys. Um, I actually have a third one, just the generic standard uh, engine seer from Games Workshop. So I now have three unique engine seers, and uh, can't wait to really dive into my Dominus conversion. Um, so I'll have two Dominuses. Uh, Shortly. Sponsored by. Thanks for watching Anvil of War Gaming. If you guys want to support the channel and keep watching us grow, then click the subscribe button located here. Also, check out some more of our videos. You comfortable? You good? Yeah, I'm good. You're gonna flip pages, aren't you? Yeah, just flipping pages. Gotta keep his hands busy. Yeah, I do actually.